guys, hope you all are having a nice day so far. If you are tuning into my channel for the first time, hello, I'm Julia. Thanks for stopping by. Hopefully you will stay. And if you've been around, welcome back. Nice to see you again. So today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial and it is going to be 100% all e.l.f. products. So I wanted to do this video because I totally know the struggle. Like if you're either just starting off, you know, getting into makeup and everything, or if you are tight on money, sometimes it can be a little frustrating watching tutorials using all high-end makeup. I know before I started a YouTube channel, I did not have money to buy like all of your, you know, Urban Decays and Too Faced and all of that. And I would always just be like, oh, can't someone make like an affordable makeup tutorial using like all really cheap products? Cause even drugstore products can be a little pricey. Like I know Maybelline, you know, L'Oreal is really pricey. Revlon can be pricey. So even drugstore brands can be pretty pricey. However, e.l.f. is probably Probably, I would say one of the cheapest, if not the least expensive drugstore product out there. Correct me if I'm wrong, comment down below if you can think of any other drugstore products that are also really affordable without being like terrible quality. But yeah, anyways, I wanted to create a look using all e.l.f. products because they are super affordable and you can create just as nice of a look as you would using high-end makeup. So today I did add a little pop of color, which is a little out of my comfort zone. I did add a little blue under the eye. I keep seeing, you know, like Rachel Leary and Curly Bible and all of my favorite beauty gurus add pops of color. So I'm like, oh, I wanted to try it. So yeah, if you're interested in how I got this look, then you came to the right place. First, I'm gonna prime my skin using the e.l.f. Aqua Primer Mist. Now, e.l.f. does have like a bajillion different uh, primers. Like I have the blemish control one and the e.l.f. poreless one. For some reason, I just am not a fan of these. I mean, they're not bad, but they just don't really make enough of a difference with the makeup to where it's worth using them. So I did just pick this guy up and I'm curious to try it. So this is my first time using it. We'll see how it goes. Oh gosh, that came out like a stream. I don't know if you can see, but I got a shower. <laughs> Now I'm gonna go ahead and prime my lips using this e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator, and it's in the flavor Cherry Tart. I actually use this all the time. I kind of just put it on my lips right before I start my makeup, and I kind of just keep it on there to kind of soften up my lips a little bit. Oh my gosh, and it tastes yummy. <laughs> For foundation, I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. This is the Acne Solution Foundation. So I'm just dotting this all over my face. Again, this is another product that I just picked up. I haven't actually used it on my face yet, so not too sure about the coverage. And I'm just gonna blend that in. You know, I'm actually not upset about this foundation. It's actually not too bad. Alrighty, for concealer, I'm going to be using, this doesn't have the exact name. I'll go ahead and link all the products down below, but I'm taking this e.l.f. concealer and it is in the color Fair. And we're just gonna start the highlighting process. And we'll go ahead and put a little on my eyelids as well. A little above my cupid's bow. Now we're just gonna go ahead and blend that all in. I'm using an e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush, by the way. <laughs> now to set everything, I'm gonna be taking my e.l.f. Loose Powder. We want everything to stay nice and in place. Oh, that was a little much. I've said this in a video before, but anytime I see like really white loose powder, I always think of white chicks. Comment down below if you know what scene I'm talking about. <laughs> and I'm just taking this e.l.f. kabuki brush to set everything. Now I'm gonna take the e.l.f. contour palette and I'm gonna start off by warming up the face with this lighter shade here. And I'm just kind of putting that 
kind of as a base uh, before my contour. I just want to make sure that, you know, the areas where the sun would naturally hit are nice and bronzed up before I go in and contour. I'm also going to hit under my chin. This is to eliminate any kind of double chinness that you might have. Well, not eliminate, but help alleviate that double chin. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and take this shade here and we're going to contour. If you're wondering like, well, what's the difference between bronzing and contouring? Like, aren't they the same? So bronzing, like I said, is kind of a more broad area to cover it's anywhere that the sun would naturally hit your face bronze you want to use a little bit warmer tone powder and then when you contour is creating shadows so with that you want to use a little more cooler undertone and you can go a little darker with contouring so i'm just taking that and giving myself a little more cheekbone I am going to take that contour shade again and just contour my nose a little bit. This is totally optional. You don't have to do this. So what I do is I'll just kind of go down the bridge of my nose a little bit. On both sides. I'm using a little bit more of a fluffier brush, so I'm not doing a very precise contour on my nose right now. And then I go ahead and take it and go under a little bit. And that's about it for contouring. For blush, I'm going to go ahead and take this little baked, what is it, baked highlighter and blush duo. And it's in the color rose gold. And I'm just going to dust this on the apples of my cheeks. give the one that comes in the duo a try. If you watched my hit or miss video, you'll know I was not a very big fan of the baked highlighter in Moonlight Pearls. I don't know, honestly, it just doesn't really give much highlight, so, which, they look pretty identical, so they're probably honestly the same thing. But I can't seem to find an e.l.f. highlighter that I really like, so we'll just go ahead and use this. Now, I cannot find my e.l.f. setting spray anywhere. I might have thrown it away in our move or something, but I can't find it anywhere. So I'm just gonna use my Mario Badesco facial spray instead. However, the e.l.f. setting spray, which is like a dollar or two dollars, will literally do the same exact thing. So I'm just gonna wet my brush to help kind of intensify the highlight a little bit. So we're just going to attempt to get some highlight here. Okay, that's a little better now that the brush is wet and I'm really digging in there. <laughs> And I'm also going to take that on my Cupid's bow. And down my nose. Actually, I'm going to use my finger for that. I'm going to do... I like to do the exclamation point. I think it was Carly Bible that I saw do it. And ever since I saw her do it, I love doing the exclamation point. So you just do a dot on the tip of your nose. And then kind of a line on the bridge of your nose. But leave a little tiny space. Now let's go ahead and move on to the brows. I pulled you guys up a little closer so you can see a little better for the eye portion. But I'm going to be using the e.l.f. brow pencil in the color taupe for my brows. I also have the color natural brown, so I might switch to this depending on what this guy looks like. But I'll let you guys know if I switch.
And I actually like the taupe color, so I probably will just be sticking with this color. Now that I'm like almost done with my brow, I'm like, oh, no, no, I think I'm gonna start with this one. <laughs> All right, so now that that is pretty much outlined, we're gonna go ahead and spoolie it through just to kinda make sure everything is nice and blended. Now I'm gonna take some concealer to go ahead and kinda clean up some of the edges. And the last step, I'm just gonna go ahead and set my brows with a clear brow gel. So with brow gels, I like to wipe the excess off because sometimes they're a little too gloopy and you don't want gloopy eyebrows. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and I will come right back. Now we're gonna go ahead and go on to the eyes. So to prime, I'm gonna use this, excuse me, this e.l.f. primer in the color Sheer. And for e.l.f. guys, this is a really nice eyeshadow primer. So if you are on a budget and are looking for a good eyeshadow primer, this is your gal. going to blend that all in. Alrighty, so for eyeshadow palettes today, I'm going to be using two. I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Mad for Matte palette. Yeah, there we go. This is what this guy looks like. All of them are matte. And once again, guys, for being e.l.f., the pigmentation is pretty good on this guy. So once again, if you're on a budget and you are looking for a nice kind of universal eyeshadow palette, this is a really great one. And then also, okay, look at how freaking cute is this. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen me post this already. But this is the cutest little, it's called Little Black Beauty Book Warm Edition. And on the edge, it kind of, it looks like a book. I really haven't heard much about this guy. I found this at Target. So I thought it was so cute. And then when you open it up, it literally has a bajillion colors. No, not a bajillion. But it has so many colors. I mean, granted, they're really tiny. But this thing was 10 bucks, you guys. 10 freaking bucks. You cannot beat that. So first, I'm going to be taking that matte palette. And I'm going to take this shade right here. And I'm just going to use that and kind of set that primer. And just make sure that everything on my eyelid is nice and universally colored. Setting up your eye primer, or if you want to use a concealer, you can use that as an eye primer. But setting it with a powder or with a kind of skin colored eyeshadow, it just makes it easier to blend. It makes the rest of your eyeshadow go on much smoother and nicer. So highly recommend doing this step. <laughs> To start building up a crease color, I'm gonna be shading, I'm gonna be shading. I'm gonna be taking this shade right here, which is a really pretty kind of fawn color. It's not really too warm and it's not too cool. I love that color. So I'm just going to take that, oh, not that, not that brush. I'm taking this e.l.f. crease brush. Again, this is a staple brush to have in your collection. They're really cheap. I think they're like a dollar to three dollars. I don't really remember. But we're just going to start building up the crease. And I am taking this kind of all the way probably to about right here. Now I'm going to go through with a fluffier brush and just blend that through. All right, now we're gonna build on that and we're gonna take this shade right here, which is a warmer toned brown. And once again, we are just gonna go in the crease and darken it up a little more.
Now I'm going back in with my fluffy brush and I am picking up a little bit of that first color to kind of use as a transition shade to help blend that out. Now I'm going to pick up that little black beauty book and I'm going to go in with this color down here, kind of a pinky orange color. And again, I'm using Mario Badesco, but the e.l.f. setting spray will work just as good. So I'm just going to wet that brush and we're just going to put that all over the lid. I'm starting at the bottom and then I'm kind of working my way up to meet the crease. Once you hit the crease, that's where you want to stop with this color. Oh, this is such a gorgeous color, you guys. I'm so impressed with this little palette. Going back to the Mad for Matte palette, I'm gonna take our transition shade again and just kind of blend very carefully that line between the that coppery color and our crease. Alrighty, so now I'm going to take this, I think they're called Molten Liquid Eyeshadows or something. They're from the Aqua Collection. Guys, these are awesome. They have, this one is in the color Liquid Gold. I think they have a Rose Gold and a Bronze. I'm actually super impressed with these. They're really pigmented, they stay put. They're really, really nice. So if you see these at your local drugstore, definitely pick one up and give it a try. I'm just going to take this and place it kind of in the center of my eye like so and then i'm going to take a flat brush and kind of just tap it to blend it just a little bit kind of give the sides a little tap and the top oh that stuff is gorgeous so i'm just going to take just a tad more and concentrate that right in the middle of that little smudge we made just to make it a little more concentrated there. I'm actually just gonna use my finger. Tap that out just a tad. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and take this eyeliner pen in the color Coffee, which is a brown. So I am just going to give myself a little eyeliner. Ugh, I'm gonna need to get up close, personal. I am gonna need to get like up and close to this mirror, so if you cannot see me, I apologize. Now for eyelashes, I'm just going to be taking the natural lash kit. The little number up here is 1713. They come with a little glue. Ooh, this is stinky. Ooh, I can't even think of what it smells like. It's just stinky. <laughs> if you've ever smelled it before and you have an idea of what this smell reminds you of, comment down below. I'm curious to see what you guys think it smells like. All right, so once again, I need to get a little up close and personal. So if you are not able to see this very well, I'm sorry. All right, guys, I can't do it with this e.l.f. glue. I'm really sorry. I'm going to take the Duo Eyelash Adhesive in Dark Tone and use that guy instead. If you are an avid eyelash, false eyelash wearer, you will probably be able to use the e.l.f. glue. However, putting false eyelashes is not one of my many talents. <laughs> Okay, we have an eyelash on, and now I'm just going to take the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Mascara just to blend in my blonde lashes with the fake ones. Oh my 
And now for under my brow bone, I'm going back in with my little Black Beauty book and I'm going to take this white color right here and just hit underneath my brow bone to highlight. This one is a matte shade, so it does not have any shimmer. And then I'm also going to take that same shade and bring that in my inner corner. Now I'm going to take this dark, darker, uh, shimmery blue color down here and I'm going to put that on my lower lash line. Once again, taking my Mario Badesco and once again, if you have the e.l.f. setting spray, that will do just fine. And I'm taking this e.l.f. Uh, small angled brush. Now let's go ahead and go back in with that highlighter and I'm going to hit the inner corner of my tear duct. Once again, getting that brush wet to get some extra pigmentation. And this is not really giving me the bam. Oh, there we go. Really got to dip your brush in there. Now just a little mascara on my bottom lashes and we should be done with one eye. Alrighty guys, so that is what one eye looks like before, after. I'm gonna do the other eye and I will come right back for you guys. I'll come back for you, Jack. I'll come back for you. Alrighty, so now we have both eyes done and all we have left is the lips. I'm gonna be taking this, I believe these are like the matte lip pencils. This one is in the color Tea Rose. It is a really pretty, just mauve rose color. And I did go ahead and kind of just wipe off my lips a little bit. a matte finish and kind of add a little more nudeness to the lip. I'm going to take this color right here in our little black beauty book and the flat brush. I'm just going to pat that all over the top of the lip. Then I'm going to take this lightest color in the palette and that I'm just going to put in the center of my lips to help give the illusion of fuller lips. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't finish. Alrighty guys, so this is the full completed look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or if you learned something or if it gave you an idea. And you know the usual spiel, don't forget to subscribe. That way you can be a part of my YouTube family. Also, even if you are subscribed, if you really like my videos and wanna be notified every time I post, Go ahead and click, there's a little bell link, I'll insert a picture of what it looks like. Click that link and that way you can turn on your notifications so you will get notified every time I post a video. And other than that guys, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or night, whatever time it is where you are, and I'll see you in my next video.